friends myself anil kumar singh in this tutorial i will explain inverse fourier transform in matlab it means how to convert frequency domain data into time domain data so i will open matlab tool just right click on matlab and click open matlab tool is opening just close each and everything see here uh, i have already coded inverse fourier transform it means first i will generate the sinusoidal signal then i will convert i will convert this sinusoidal time domain signal into frequency domain signal then i will take inverse fourier transform on frequency uh, frequency domain data to convert into time domain signal okay all these steps i will show here okay i have already coded these codes first section is command for clearing workspace and command window okay clc close all and clear all this three command will help to clear workspace and command window next section i have defined parameters which is used in uh, for signal generation frequency domain uh, time conversion from time domain data to frequency domain data as well as frequency domain data to time domain data okay so this one is sampling frequency i have taken here 2k to kilohertz fm1 fm2 there are two signal i am generating one first signal having 50 hertz second signal having 800 hertz and uh, ts is sample time period so fs is 2k so sampling time will be 1 by fs okay i am assuming a 50 point of 1024 it should be power of 2 it means 2 to the power 10 is nothing but 1024 you can take uh, any 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 value which is power of 2 i am assuming 1024 it can be 2k 2048 it can be 512 it can be 256 like this also define time vector t equal to 0 to sample time period 0 to number of fft sample and each is fft sample time period is ts okay in this way i have to define the parameters now in next section signal generation first generate the signal i have already explained in the previous uh, previous uh, video if you have not watched previous video please go through the uh, please go through uh, previous video and watch how to generate the signal and how to perform the fourier transform i will uh, quickly go through them i will just uh, going through how to generate the signal see here uh, here i am generating sinusoidal signal having frequency fm fm1 i am plotting here one more signal is x2 then uh, third signal is sum of these two signal x1 and x2 okay this one is nothing but mixed signal so first i will plot these three signals okay see here. this one is x1 signal having frequency 50 hertz this one is x2 signal having frequency of
सी एफ एम वन इज फिफ्टी हर्ट एफ एम टू इज एट हंड्रेड हर्ट इट मीन्स दिस सिग्नल इज फिफ्टी हर्ट एंड दिस सिग्नल इज एट हंड्रेड हर्ट इट मीन्स देर आर एट हंड्रेड साइकल इन सिग्नल एक्स टू एंड पर सेकेंड एंड इन एक्स वन सिग्नल देर आर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी साइकल्स पर सेकेंड सो दिस टू सिग्नल जस्ट आई हैव एडेड टू जेनरेट मिक्सड सिग्नल दिस वन इज द मिक्सड सिग्नल सी दिस वन इज द मिक्सड सिग्नल ओके इन दिस वे वी कैन जेनरेट साइनोसोडल सिग्नल ओके सो जस्ट आई एम टेकिंग ओनली वन सिग्नल एंड आई वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म फिफ्टी ऑन डेट जस्ट अदरवाइज आई विल प्लॉट दिस मिक्सड सिग्नल एज वेल ओके यू कैन टेक एनी सिग्नल सिंगल सिग्नल और टू सिग्नल और मिक्सड सिग्नल एनी सिग्नल एंड डू द एफ एफ्टी जस्ट आई एम एनेबल द एफ एफ्टी कोड okay now i am plotting it already i explained in the earlier video so there are two signal one is 50 hertz another one is 800 hertz so we can see in the spectrum domain clearly this one is 50 hertz you can zoom this and you can see easily see here 50 hertz one signal is 50 hertz and other signal other signal is 800 hertz and the left side is symmetric uh, symmetric because of f50 is uh, mirror image f50 were performing on real signal so f50 on the real is mirror image in the frequency domain that's why signals look like this okay now now next section is Perform inverse Fourier transform. Okay, so just I am enabling this inverse Fourier transform code. Okay, this is the section for converting frequency domain data to time domain data. Okay, so this is the FFT output. This is FFT out. Just I am taking input to the inverse Fourier transform. See here, I F F T is the MATLAB function to convert frequency domain data to time domain data. Okay, so need to give frequency domain data. So I have I have given here F F T out, F F T domain data, and also I am passing sample point. How many sampling point? Uh, how many F F T point uh, inverse F F T point uh, want to perform? So here I have sent here N F F T. N F F T is nothing but one zero two four. I have stated in the parameter. Okay, this function will convert frequency domain data to time domain data, and simply I have plotted here. Plot t comma I F F T underscore out, <coughs> and I have given the title as inverse Fourier transform, and x level is time in signal, time in second, and y level is amplitude. In linear value, okay. Just control S to save it, and uh, just uh, do the simulation by uh, clicking on Run Tool. See. Figure one. See here, Figure one. This one is figure two. This one is figure three. This one is figure four. I will explain each and every figure one by one. This one is figure five. Okay. So, first figure is. X one signal, 
second figure is x2 signal so, this is two signal added to produce figure 3 this one is the mixed signal which is sum of x1 and x2 okay on this signal i have performed frequency fft to convert this time domain data to frequency domain data okay so this is the frequency domain data of mixed signal now this figure 5 shows the inverse transform inverse fourier transform of this fft domain data to generate time domain data so ideally it should be same as source signal this one is the source signal which is in time domain and this one is the output of the inverse fourier transform it should be same so we can clearly see both the signals are same only see you can see clearly see uh, input to the fft and output of the inverse fft both are same okay thank you so much for watching my video in next video i will show how to perform inverse fourier transform on noisy signal okay thank you so much